uh, my oldest friend is Caroline Wise, and she's amazing. She knows the whole sort of occult world in, in the world, in London. But I feel she has a contact with the, especially with the Golden Dawn people, which is psychic. She has a psychic connection, I believe, with WB Yeats. I think she may, perhaps I'm talking out of turn, I don't think so. I think she was one of them, or very closely connected, because I like the atmosphere of art, culture. You see, cultural people don't murder each other. They may dislike critics. They don't kill them. Uh, they don't, uh, impressionists don't want to murder academicians and uh, academic people, they want to kill modern art. They make like modern art, but they don't attack the pictures. So I call Arcadian Awakening like Bohemian, where all over the world there are artists and writers and people who have spiritual experiences and, and aren't violent. They are New Agers, in fact, who know they're New Agers. What I'm working on now is my new book, Arcadian Awakening. You see, I believe there is an awakening of consciousness all over the world, even the Middle East. They rush out of the street somehow wanting something. They don't know what, freedom. And um, this awakening is due, it's in a part of our evolutionary process. There's something in our brains that says, now is the time. I believe that. And of course, that's why I travel. I love traveling. Um, I'm going to America. And I'm going to London, where I live. You know, I was born in London, and right there, treadmills. I like treadmills very, very much. They're a very golden dawn in that. That's very Anglo-Irish, so I love that. Royal. Yes. Here's the royal, as usual. Yes, my altar. I like that picture. It's one of my pictures. Altar. It's one of the four sacred donkeys of the Zodiac. They're cheerful donkeys, to give you good news. They counter depression. Coming? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, yes, they're p printing my books now. Um, and you can buy my books now from their publishing them in their three global centres, Colliers and Linda. Finishing it off, sort of defiling. She got some hair. She's not healthy. Yeah. Osiris, Isis, yeah. and then we have, as you come down, you're blessed by Jupiter, the planet Jupiter, some jolly god or other, and Venus. There's the sign of Venus, so you get awfully good luck coming down. <laughs> Because I like the atmosphere of art, culture. You see, cultural people don't murder each other. They may dislike critics. They don't kill them. Uh, they don't. Uh, impressionists don't want to murder academicians. And academic people. They want to kill modern art. They make like modern art, but they don't attack the pictures. Both seem to be equally powerful. Yeah. That was my problem, she was weaker. Yeah. Now she's bigger. Yeah, she's, she's, she's a smart one. So that is the Golden Dawn link, I feel, the Anglo Irish of Caroline. Then I, she gets on very, very well with my friend Linda Isles of California and also of um, uh, Laura Jane's daughter in Los Angeles. Now, I love being with Linda. Now, it's different with her. She is intensely psychic. And uh, when I, I look forward, I get up at about half past six in California and everybody else has uh, an isolation to have uh, breakfast at nine. But Linda and I get together and we think of the most marvellous ideas uh, at, 
but we have an early breakfast. She likes a wonderful sort of gas fire thing and gives me a super breakfast of coffee. And before anyone else turns up, we discuss what we can do. She's running amazing circle of ISIS, uh, you know, this www. I can't do all that, dot com, circle of ISIS. Uh, and it can publish our books and everything. So I, I, it's amazing I'm able to talk to the world through her. And this contact I look forward to every year. Another contact I had very, very warmly enjoyed was with Konya Silver. And they're totally different in Arizona, but miles up, 7,000 feet up. And I love it all around there, Flagstaff, Sedona, uh, and everywhere. And Konya Silver lives there, and she was the first global site to be very operative. Now she's archives and she has, uh, I was in her home, is wonderful, beautiful, really mountains, they're extraordinary, all their mythology. She gave me a book about the mythology of the weird beings who lived there on the mountains. And she has these amazing machines. You know, she's really, all these computers and stuff. And she's Fellowship of Isis. Dot com. I try and remember all these things because I don't have a computer, thank goodness. And uh, <laughs> the, so they, they are the three main ones, but there's a German lot I was there with, with Claudia and Thomas Wehmeyer. Uh,